the most respected uh, dean uh, postgraduate studies and the director of center for plant molecular biology and biotechnology today's guest the excellent examiner dr harendra raj gautam staff members of this department of plant pathology and other departments who have joined online and the student friends of the department of plant pathology both off offline and uh, online i am very happy uh, to welcome you all for this guest lecture of uh, dr harendra raj gautam professor harendra raj gautam is a professor and head of department of plant pathology ys parmar university of horticulture and uh, forestry solan from the beginning professor um, showed his merit from the college studies to got uh, merit scholarship to do his um, ug degree on uh, bsc agriculture and also he got icr fellowship for doing msc agriculture and also for phd she got senior fellowship at IARA and he completed his PhD at IARA during the year 1991 immediately after completing uh, Dr Gautam has joined the university as assistant scientist during the year 1992 and uh, presently it is more than 30 years of service in uh, teaching as well as research in the field of plant pathology and um, one important and national award was awarded to our uh, professor that is called earth care award with a cash award of 3 lakh and the citation was given by the noble, noted agriculture scientist dr ms swaminathan under the category of innovation for climate protection during the year 2010 so this is considered as one of the important uh, award as uh, at national award and this award was presented to the professor by the honorable former honorable union minister of communication mr sachin pilot is an eminent uh, minister as we have and also professor uh, gautam as the recipient of uh, the only scientist in the history of at ys parmar university to receive himachal gaurav puraskar award for yes. his contribution given by the government of himachal pradesh and similarly professor received the himachal shri best teacher award also and he has developed bio formulations for the management of crop diseases and professor wrote more than 500 publications for the Uh, research ar- articles especially more than 100 research articles and handled more than uh, 12 different projects as pa include which inclusive of other projects and all and uh, he has authored uh, 33 book chapters and more than 30 books and manuals for the benefit of both the students as well as the farm um, extension officials and also for the farmers many articles written by uh, professor is on policy based articles or policy issues for last 20 years he is writing and professor has also visited several countries like indonesia italy and um, almeria for uh, different uh, research activities so with this uh, background today dr gautam has visited here our department to conduct the final uh, defense of um, uh, dr veera telagam and after completion we have arranged this uh, and um, dr gautam going to talk about the co joint application of non chemical methods an effective and sustainable approach for plant disease management so before starting the lecture may I now request our uh, dean post graduate studies uh, to say few words sir please yes good afternoon to everyone here in the online and offline uh, really uh, happy that uh, department of plant pathology uh, professor and dr kartikeyan and also the 
director cpps uh, arranged this uh, guest lecture today uh, usually the tamil nadu agriculture university requested the, all the external examiners to interact with our students and also the scientists definitely it will help us to improve our knowledge in the specific domain in this contest today professor harinder raj gautam is one of the eminent pathologist and working as a three decade of research that to in a very chill climate like solan and today you are been in a very hot coimbatore condition today sir and uh, but we are looking your lecture uh, in the evening lectures uh, it's very useful for our students uh, another thing normally the plant disease management usually from seed to harvest we apply so many uh, seed treatment and many disease management chemicals so many new formulations many things which are going on but i think today's talk is a non chemical method it's a unique one because uh, many of the organic uh, group in our organic, organic department and many organic groups looking for the non chemical methods and again it's a one of the area which uh, attractive area nowadays government of india also promoting many organic pro organic programs and in that the pathologist role to control or manage the disease by using the non chemical method is uh, more relevant today so in the in your talk really we expect that these issues definitely will come uh, definitely you may be address these issues because everybody want to manage the disease only the chemical methods is a more effective method in the high input agriculture system not only the greenhouse system and also the other uh, method of management mostly we rely on the chemical uh, methods but uh, the one one groups which always look for a pathologist looking for the non chemical methods whether we can manage with this kind of non chemical methods and also the plant breeders also working with the pathologist working on the host plant resistance another one area where this also uh, nowadays been getting imp uh, importance the host plant resistance so your your knowledge on this uh, the rich experience on the non chemical methods and definitely will enrich our students uh, uh, thought process and uh, people start maybe looking for some of the some of the novel uh, plant products or some other methods definitely they will use it so in this i am really happy that tamil nadu agriculture university welcome you sir for this today's evening lecture on behalf of vice chancellor tamil nadu agriculture university and also the dean pg studies and uh, the department and really we uh, welcome you sir for today's evening lecture and uh, we we archive the lectures in the, for the online viewers and uh, definitely it will be a fruitful evening today so thank you for giving me the opportunity and uh, i am look forward to your lecture and try to uh, enjoy your lecture in the evening time sir thank you very much for come over here respected uh, professor santhil uh, dean school of post graduate studies uh, respected uh, doc uh, professor karthikan uh, professor and head of uh, uh, department of plant pathology uh, professor kanan and uh, other esteemed uh, faculty members of this uh, department and uh, dear students i am happy to uh, share my work here uh, which i have done i have uh, prepared this presentation mainly based on my presentation not uh, by including the work that we are doing in our department and uh, i am thankful to the uh, administration of uh, tnau because uh, as my knowledge goes for of last 30 years i uh, rate uh, in my this thing tnau as a Uh, one of the important agriculture institution in the country uh, comparable to uh, our uh, iri and other institutions because iri we uh, maybe uh, more as i have learned there as a student more, more focused in the laboratory and more of a academic excellence but tnu uh what i feel has a more presence in the farmers field uh, that we need today so i am uh, happy that uh, and of course uh, uh, we have a uh, in our department we have formed a uh, society called himalayan phytopathological society so that uh, uh, and we organized uh, 
four five national seminars and uh, uh, i had a always a honor that uh, to invite somebody uh, from uh, southern part so that uh, particularly this biological control and other uh, uh, aspect so that uh, because uh, what i feel there is a more practical applicability of uh, these non chemical methods uh, in andhra pradesh tamil nadu and other parts uh, here in uh, southern parts so that i have uh, kept my <coughs> uh, topic uh, to share with you this conjoint application of non chemical method uh, uh, for effective and sustainable uh, plant disease management next uh, to that uh, when i joined for my phd program my uh, as for most of the uh, phd students we ask that uh, do and uh, uh, bring some uh, uh, do some review of literature and this is bring some prospective problems which we can assign to you to so then uh, my advisor also asked me that go to the lab library and you see actually my uh, advisor dr ij kapoor uh, he was also working on biological control methods so he asked me that go and uh, bring some literature and he was working on vegetable crops disease of vegetable crops so then i uh, when i scanned literature i uh, saw that uh, this is also a potential problem soil solarization at that time uh, very less work was uh, being done and uh, then i told my advisor that i want to work on this soil solarization so then my problem was uh, on uh, uh, tomato wilt uh, uh, and uh, on that we uh, did this initial work on next phase so this is the, uh, we can say that uh, uh, how this uh, uh, uh soil solarization works of course now in literature uh because the uh, uh, this technique is uh, uh, that research work and applicability is more than 50 countries uh, uh people are working on this and uh, uh that this is effective against number of pathogens and then in uh, uh, i will discuss with you in the uh, follow up uh, work Uh, uh we saw that where the temperature uh, because at delhi uh, uh, while i was doing for my phd work i saw that there was a increase of uh, 10 to 14 degree celsius at uh, 5 to 6 cm uh, depth soil depth there was a because at delhi uh, at the uh, the Uh, the de- daily air temperature average temperature was more than 40 degrees celsius in summer months so that there was a increase because the as the temperature will be higher the increase will be higher if the temperature uh, and later when we worked at solar conditions the, there the temperature average temperature during uh, the prime uh, may june months that is going uh, Uh, approximately 36 to 38 degree celsius so there the average increase uh, in temperature is 6 to uh, 7 8 degree celsius so then uh, the next uh, i think uh, these things are uh, only uh, for this this thing that we should use thin transparent and uh, uh, it is a hydrothermal if we irrigate it is more effective than Uh, uh, uh the soil color structure this uh, and uh, uh, length of day intensity of sunlight these all have a uh, uh, effect on effectiveness of this technique and uh, 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 on an average this uh, one square centimeter area outside this we receive approximately 2 calorie per centimeter per minute energy so this is a huge amount and uh, we know that Uh, in our country or globally we are working to harness this important source of energy uh, these are uh, the uh, different uh, experiments which we uh, i uh, worked on uh, these uh, ornamental crops also uh, like uh, gladiolus carnation and uh, and also chrysanthemum 
so there also and uh, we what in the uh, protected cultivation also the crops which are grown in the poly houses also so there also we have seen that the technique is very effective and uh, then uh, sometime a issue comes that uh, of course uh, the that uh, the uh, biodegradability of this uh, 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 material that this will cause pollution and this thing of course uh, we saw in our various experiments that uh, particularly in the vegetable crops we saw that uh, only uh, in comparison to because if, if we see for the nursery diseases for dapping off we have calculated that only 25% of the cost is needed in comparison to drenching with the chemicals so that there is no issue with uh, with that effectiveness of this technique and applicability and cost benefit ratio so th that is a huge difference because if uh, uh, for uh, uh, cost wise we see that uh, in a vegetable nursery if we are giving one drenching uh, with the carbon dazim and one drenching with the the diethene m45 so instead if we are using polythene only 25% cost is needed next so then uh, in himachal pradesh also and i, uh, I think in tamil nadu also uh, i i uh, think that lot of uh, these uh, uh, crucifer crops are grown so we uh, saw in our various experiments that if we combine uh, soil uh, solarization with this uh, residue of crucifer crops so then its uh, 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 efficacy uh, increases tremendously uh, because the uh, residue of uh, crucifer crops is uh, uh, if, if we see in the marketing yard that uh, lot of the cabbage cauliflower residue is remain un unused and uh, even in the uh, farmer fields also that if we incorporate into the soil so then we know that uh, so many anti uh, fungal volatile compounds are released such as ammonia this uh, 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 methane thiol dimethyl sulfide these are the all uh, sulfur based compounds which are released and uh, we have assigned uh, some uh, uh, work to the students also where we saw that uh, uh, if we uh, uh, embed the uh, agar agar uh media uh double strength media uh, if it that is embedded with the uh, in the water studies i am telling if that is embedded with the residues of the crucifer crops and put in the soil so then clearly we saw uh, see that uh, mycelial reduction is more uh, in comparison to the uh, normal soil solarization so this uh, the uh, this is a, some kind of a top up effect of uh, this thing uh, where the temperature like hilly region is not going high next uh, these are uh, some experiments and uh, in uh, this uh, damping of pathogens we uh, know that uh, the seclorium rolfsi pthm and uh, some uh, uh, rhizoctonia uh, are uh, the, so then in various studies we saw that uh, the uh, seclorium because seclorium rolfsi it is infecting many crops uh including uh, uh, even apple also we get a sapling uh, wilt due to seclorium and other uh, in veg other vegetables also so we saw that uh, uh, soil solarization for uh, four to five weeks that uh, the seclorium population uh, is reduced drastically next similar uh, is the case with the rhizoctone uh, rhizoctone solenai where the 40 days uh, uh, soil solarization have a drastic effect on the viability of the seclorium and uh, uh, next similar is the condition with the fusarium oxysworm next uh, and the pthm pthm ultimate uh, it requires slightly higher temperature uh, for the uh, uh, this uh, 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 killing of the propagules of this thing this study uh, we also did in water bath I, I assign one student that you do that you mix the uh, inoculum of the pathogen uh, in uh, test tubes and for a set duration daily for four and five hour you subject that uh, and suspend that 
inocul soil uh, inoculated with those pathogen the water bath and subject that to uh, fixed duration daily under water bath to that culture so that we can know that how, in how many days that uh, pathogen get inactivated so in that also we got good uh, information uh, uh, next and uh, uh, in this uh, studies actually what we get in the literature also that when uh, after uh, solarization for uh, four to five weeks we also get in the literature that uh, many of the beneficial pathogens they are not uh, because the heat will have a naturally drastic effect on uh, the beneficial microorganisms also but uh, the literature also say that uh, uh, the mic uh, the beneficial microorganisms they uh, we are able to retrieve them from the lower depths so that there is no drastic killing of beneficial microorganism and additional thing which we get that the uh, fungi uh, which are having seclorsia to so that uh, the uh, with the heat if all the uh, seclorsia they didn't get uh, kill so then the uh, then a mix uh, mechanism works there that the weakened propagules that seclorsial seclorsia of those fungi they are acted on by the biological control agent the trichoderma and other biological uh, control agents which are present at the lower depths so then on the uh, those uh, weakened seclorsia uh, they act and then we get higher uh, that uh, uh, that deactivation of uh, those seclorsial also which are not uh, entirely killed by the <coughs> then uh, uh, what we perceived that uh, we thought that uh, uh, we should see that uh, after uh, we have done soil solarization so then we can do that uh, uh, whatever soil amendments we are giving we can give prior to solarization and uh, uh, other treatments like this application of uh, pseudomonas fluorescence and uh, uh, these uh, trichoderma and crucifer residues of course th uh, this biofumigation uh, we have to do we have to add these before putting the polyethylene mulch and other things we can uh, add uh, after that solarization so the, we uh, try to combine uh, these things and uh, 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 this lot of work is done i think here also on mycorrhizal fungi there also our one and uh, two scientists they work on uh, 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 use of mycorrhizal fungi there we saw but application of uh, this uh, uh, that mycorrhiza that we, of course we are getting culture in the market but th that uh, the uh, potency of that sometime uh, we have problem to so here what i saw that if we are uh, growing uh, that up doing soil solarization then growing the mycorrhizal crop like fenugreek and uh, this moong and then that uh, after uh, certain duration we are uh, mixing that in soil so that uh, uh, also had a very good effect so in this uh, experiment we try to have a uh, that type of a, a thing and uh, we worked it in vegetable crops also we worked in the case of uh, for mango and uh, uh, citrus uh, uh, this sapling wilt also and uh, we uh, try to see its effect uh, in uh, chrysanthemum wilt also to three four crops and in all uh, we got a uh, encouraging this thing you can see that uh, disease incidence is uh, uh, drastically uh, reduced and uh, there is a uh, uh, considerable uh, increase in plant height and uh, root length next uh, uh, that uh, in this we saw that in damping off in uh, uh, different vegetable crop what affected to so here also that uh, uh, the disease incidence is uh, drastically reduced with the uh, 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 increased uh, uh, plant growth 
characteristic like uh, plot height and root length. And uh, uh, we saw that the uh, root colonization with this mycorrhizal uh, uh, fungi uh, uh, was more in the solarized soil than in the uh, unsolarized soil when that uh, sectioning uh, was uh, done. Next. Uh, so here, uh, uh, that spore count of this uh, uh, AM fungi was also more in uh, uh, solarized uh, soil in comparison to the un unsolarized soil. You can see in the uh, different uh, treatments which uh, we have used. So this soil solarization with the residue accuracy was found uh, effective. And uh, as I have told you that uh, drastically reduce the seclusia uh, and uh, uh, combination of soil solarization with the uh, application of trichoderma verde and uh, growing of this green gram as a mycorrhizal crop was found uh, uh, most effective and uh, it uh, reduced the disease incidence uh, uh, of uh, the this uh, damping of drastically and th th this was uh, found effective in other crops also. This plant height and uh, uh, this uh, uh, population of uh, uh, the spore count in this was also higher. Next. So that I, as I have uh, already explained that uh, in the uh, when we are doing soil solarization to so there this biological uh, mechanism also uh, works and uh, if uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, propagules of the different pathogens they remain alive to so then there the uh, microorganisms uh, 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 which are in the lower depth so they act on that and they also result in uh, uh, reducing their population these are the that uh, uh, the nursery experiment uh, which have been done for the damping of of uh, vegetable crops like this uh, this you can see that the difference uh, in photographs in the left that uh, uh, in this uh, i have uh, assigned to the student that uh, the uh, before uh, in the solarized so, uh, soil, she has also shown one line uh, of this mycorrhizal crop also in the solarized and unsolarized both. And then the sowing of that particular vegetable was done. So then we can see that uh, uh, how much difference in the uh, unsolarized and solarized uh, plots is there uh, of uh, the uh, vegetable nursery which is growing next to the, to the, this is actually the mycorrhizal crop which uh, uh, we have grown uh, before uh, putting the uh, uh, vegetable seeds uh, for this thing and uh, next to the, to this is the colonization uh, of the mycorrhizal fungi uh, in the uh, plants grown in the uh, solarized uh, 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 fields. So this we can uh, see the difference between uh, plots between the solarized and unsolarized uh, plots. So then uh, uh, we actually uh, worked on uh, 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 one DST project we have done that uh, on uh, uh, that foliar that uh, that botrytis which is coming on the strawberry. So there uh, uh, we have developed a uh, formulation uh, with a view because I think world over uh, the uh, the sprays of chemical uh, these fungicides which we do in strawberry and strawberry being a succulent fruit that lot of uh, uh, these chemicals they get absorbed. So that uh, project we had a, uh, this thing. And uh, interestingly, now uh, when we uh, I went to uh, uh, when we are interacting with the farmer, one farmer told us, sir, I have produced a botanical formulation and you take it to the laboratory and you see. So then we brought it and when we saw that in the laboratory, 
तो देन वी गॉट अप्रोक्सीमेटली अप टू एट्टी परसेंट माइसीलियल रिडक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट पैथोजन इंक्लूडिंग दीज वोटाइटस तो देन वी ट्राई टू इंक्वायर द प्लांट्स द लोकली अवेलेबल प्लांट्स एंड इन दैट स्टडी uh we uh, uh, reported two plants with uh, this uh, uh, anti uh, fungal properties uh, 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 one was roelia elegans and one was uh, another was cryptolopsis buchanani to so these uh, uh, the that roelia elegans uh, plant that actually i don't know that here it will be because it is a uh, occurring in mid hills and uh, the taste of the that leaves is bitter so that uh, uh, plant uh, so you can see that so in this particular study this is alternaria brassicola in colipla <coughs> uh, so here actually we wanted that uh, uh, can we combine <coughs> botanicals uh, the formulation the effective formulation which we got in strawberry and that also we used in for post harvest disease of apple also that can we <coughs> combine it with the, the yeasts because uh, yeasts are also potential because we, uh, we thought that uh, uh, yeasts uh, they are used for this post harvest pathogen so if uh, we can uh, because there is no issue as a uh, for spraying also as a microbe so then if we can combine with botanical uh, the yeast so then uh, so that it has a top up type of effect so then we uh, evaluated different uh, type of botanicals first uh, against this alternaria next so then uh, we uh, try to uh, have different type of yeasts so some isolate we got uh, from our uh, colleague in uttarakhand and one uh, we uh, isolated uh, from raisins so th- you can see that uh, these were also quite effective next uh, and then we uh, compared it uh, and uh, this uh, isolate bk5 was very effective and we can see that it is comparable to even mancojet and uh, then uh, we uh, prepared the uh, we mixed that yeasts with the uh, field formulation that field formulation is a uh, formulation comprising of uh, uh, five uh, botanicals uh, so then uh, one formulation is in aqueous this thing and one is in cow urine that also because in our earlier studies we have seen that if we make a formulation in cow urine that is more effective than the aqueous uh, uh, this uh, uh, formulation but here in this study uh, we found that the botanicals they antagonize the yeast cells so then uh, uh, next so we can see that uh, the uh, effect of uh, this comparison of uh, these with the copper oxychloride and uh, 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 the end field formulation plus buttermilk buttermilk we also used as actually uh, here our uh, as i i was in the morning i was discussing that uh, our focus was that some way we come with a, s- such a formulation so that we can tell the farmer that this is the formulation you uh, you add with this buttermilk so that buttermilk was also very effective and uh, this is the combination with other yeasts and uh, water but uh, uh, we uh, saw that uh, the uh, addition of botanicals with that uh, 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 these yeasts uh, that restricted the growth of this thing next but uh, ultimately we got a very good thing that uh, uh we need not to mix the uh, that uh, formulation of yeast with the botanicals we can spray them separately so that will uh, provide a good uh, management for this thing so then we can uh, go initial spray with the botanicals and then the later sprays we can give with the uh, 
uh, that uh, east based formulation that had a uh, uh, good uh, that uh, this thing uh, so the, uh, the, the, this study we, we did to find out the propagule count so that uh, when we are mixing uh, east with the botanical then what is happening so that to confirm this uh, we could know that uh, the addition of uh, uh, botanicals as we can see uh, the first slide from the top we can see that uh, uh, formulation that that is restricting the growth of these yeasts next uh, that uh, same that here also uh, the same thing we try to uh, establish that uh, uh, that is happening that uh, uh, this addition is re uh, restricting the growth next so then uh, in uh, 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 we had a uh, this uh, uh, earlier there was a natp project so in that natp project uh, for this uh, sapling wilt of mango and uh, this uh, citrus and of course in apple also the we try to integrate this uh, uh, that uh, uh, mycorrhiza with this azotobacter crococcum the application of both what effect uh, uh, that is having so in 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 this we uh, uh, applied 14 different type of co combination and we had uh, four uh, native isolates of uh, wam that we have isolated from the nurseries uh, and uh, then uh, two native isolates of azotobacter and uh, that those combinations were applied in the field and uh, uh, these uh, we saw that inoculation of these uh, saplings before their planting when we are doing the, uh, this thing so there was no incidence of uh, sapling wilt in comparison to more than uh, this approximately 32 uh, percent uh, there and uh, accompanied with this there was a uh, uh, increase in shoot length and root length uh, in, in this experiment and uh, similarly the uh, that uh, uh, mycorrhizal that spore population uh, population was more in the solarized uh, plots and colorized, uh, colonization was also uh, more in the solarized plots next so these were uh, because uh, this experiment we de did with my uh, colleague in the department of food science so then uh, uh, isolated different indigenous am species from uh, uh, citrus orchards please next and uh, uh, then we can see that this in, uh, 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 that uh, uh, from the uh, sectioning that uh, uh, these spores of uh, these wam fungi in the uh, roots isolated from citrus orchards uh, so this is the experiment that uh, was done in the field next 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 so the, uh, these uh, were also different uh, this thing and uh, uh, that uh, adjective vector count and root colonization in mango plantations that we can see the uh, experiment that on uh, first one in the uh, top row that solarized with dual inoculation with adjective vector and uh, mycorrhizal fungi <coughs> Next. So then, uh, uh, that uh, this uh, treating uh, this uh, uh, seeds uh, with these microbes, this is also a uh, bio priming is also uh, gaining importance. This is, and some experiments were also conducted with this particularly for the damping of pathogen that uh, what effect they are having and in this study that uh, uh, we have taken the trichoderma then uh, uh, against uh, these uh, four pathogen isolated that pthium fusarium seclosium and rhizoctonia and uh, then uh, the uh, bacterial uh, uh, these uh, 
biocontrol agent also and then uh, endophytes were uh, isolated and but um, uh, endophytes were isolated uh, both fungal and bacterial from uh, uh, the other species one mantha and one other species so those were also evaluated and uh, uh, in all uh, when we are combining this and when we are combining this with soil solarization so then we also got a, a encouraging uh, results here so here we can see that efficacy of seed burning with effective bio control agents against damping of disease under uh, field conditions because the uh, different uh, that uh, uh, that bio control agents which were effective to so then their duration then uh, uh, their time uh that was all standardized in this study and then their application was done in the field uh, in the uh, uh, three crops that is chili capsicum and tomato so here uh, we can see that bio priming of tomato seeds when we have done with trichoderma varan so we have found that it was effective uh, with almost 58% reduction in seedling mortality uh, we can see that trichoderma uh, this was next in efficacy in chili also it was effective and as i told you that uh, uh, next so th this is the uh, in vitro evaluation of uh, uh, fungal and bacterial endo uh, fights and it is fungal uh, endo fights were found uh, more effective that you can see that uh, it belongs to penicillium species uh so it uh, so in comparison to both fungal endophytes were found more effective against these four uh, uh, damping of pathogen next this is the uh, that experiment done under field conditions and the previous one so here also you can see that the uh, crop in the Uh, uh, when we all the treatments were applied under solarized conditions they were more effective than unsolarized conditions next this is also uh, the view of application of efficacy when we are doing seed priming with effective uh, bio inoculants and uh, soil solarization so this uh, here in tomato this treatment uh, when seed priming with fungal endo uh, fungal endophyte was done and, and in solarized soil so then uh, uh, it was found effective and there was a 49% reduction in seedling uh, mortality and seed germination was also enhanced considerably and there was a considerably effect on the seed health also and uh, the uh, when we are doing bio priming so then all all the important parameters of this uh, uh, defense activity in uh, bi bio primed plants so that all those parameters uh, have also been found considerably uh, uh, increased we can see that po activity ppo enzyme activity that is uh, in that uh, different treatments in comparison to that control there is a uh, considerable increase in in the activities of uh, these uh, uh, defense related parameters that so here we can see that seed bio priming in tomato resulted in maximum activity of enzyme polyphenol oxidase in treatment combination which was found best in this case uh, which was 78% higher the similarly peroxidase activity was also found uh, that uh, in comparison to control considerable higher all those then pol tp total phenol content was also in the bio prime uh, seeds uh, was found higher so all those parameters which uh, 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 in totality count for the defense mechanism they were found higher so in all the crops that uh, similar trend was uh, were found in tomato chili and uh, capsicum next next 
ഇന്ന് ഐ ഹാഡ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്രൊജക്ട് ഐ ഹാഡ് ഫ്രോം സീഡ് ഡിവിഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ഡി എസ് ടി and uh, in that that good thing was that in, in most of these the popularization of uh, was also one of the objective so then we try to popularize the technique among the farmers so that they make the formulation and this thing the, uh, here uh, uh, in the first photograph man with the cap he is uh, one such uh, beneficiary and uh, uh, in that area of himachal pradesh he belongs to a kasog area in himachal pradesh and there uh, uh, he, not this uh, he also got a award at delhi uh, for this uh, uh, use of this botanical farming in organ is uh, uh, this uh, farmer mr tejram sharma is engaged but uh, another farmer uh, from this area who is engaged in organic farming is also received padam shri this time So he, that farmer is also but uh, the, uh, this farmer is also very progressive and we have engaged him in popularization of our uh, this technology next 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 the, this is all thank you very much thank you very much sir for your uh, informative uh, presentation so now it is open for discussion please sir it is what uh, altitude of pyramid it is uh, at uh, 4500 feet okay because my mapi uh, you are vectoring lot of mango over here mango no no suppose it looks like a mango uh, where yeah actually uh, about himachal there is a myth uh, that uh, himachal is not apple uh, our uh, uh, five districts they are having subtropical fruits also so this experiment uh, uh, we have a now college at play, uh, co- called hamirpur there is a college uh, of our university at neri and we have a uh, three four district adjacent to punjab so there we are having all uh, and uh, in mango we are having uh, 40000 hectare area uh, in apple we are having 114000 in mango we are having uh, 40000 citrus also uh, we are having approximately 20000 hectare area uh, citrus earlier it was higher but due, due to something uh, management problem the area has come down so mango we have a uh, quite good acreage എക്സ്റ്റൻറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഹാവിംഗ് Uh, 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 cluster type of a farming uh, in that project we are having cluster that is uh, this project is based on subtropical fruits so in that we are having guava good varieties of citrus and uh, some other fruits uh, this is for some clarification sir <clears throat> see the in shimla national level storehouse is there for the storing the um, apple during off season the stored apple is transported from shimla to different parts of country in that way all the farmers are getting very good price for their produce so my question is since it is located in sola what type of post harvest work is going on in your center regarding the i mean preventing the a disease occurring while storing the apple 
in storehouse or during transit? Uh, <clears throat> in our university yes, that sir. in our department uh, 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 earlier uh, you will find uh, some references of dr gl call so he has done some work on uh, post harvest disease of apple and uh, then uh, we had uh, uh, dr rl sharma also and uh, uh, i was also associated uh, with uh, uh, that uh, dr rl sharma and we had a, a DST project uh, for that. But at present, uh, particularly that uh, we are not having a dedicated person for working on uh, the uh, uh, post harvest disease. Some teachers are there. Again. But in case of Apple, I want to tell you in that uh, the DST project, uh, we had a uh, one uh, uh, work on botanicals only. So I have I that deleted those slides because I. Uh, uh, so in that uh, what we saw that uh, because we are uh, transporting apple in trays, in that we saw that if we impregnate the trays with the botanicals, so that is uh, having very good results. And we saw the effect of uh, those, uh, the apples put in the impregnated trays, impregnated with the botanicals. Uh, then, uh, because uh, we saw there that because if uh, in the one pack of apple of 25 kg, that we usually were getting that after, uh, uh, in the cold storage also, after uh, normal cold storage, uh, if after two months, if two kg apple, two to three kg apple get wasted due to this post harvest, this thing, but with this, uh, if we are using impregnated trays, so that the loss is reduced considerably. Uh, recommending back squatting, sir. Generally, we are uh, well, taking classes and all. Uh, we are. Uh, Committing go for wax coating yeah. or use a different type of suitable containers for transit the produce. Yeah. So which type of things normally they are using, sir? No. But in the market we are seeing only the different types of, uh, I mean containers. Yeah. Uh, which is supporting not the, the fruits are not damaged even we transmit or transport from long distance all the way from Shimla to even Coimbatore or Kanyakumari. Actually, uh, this cold storage, which is done in Himachal Pradesh, uh, that is done by private players. And the private players, they are uh, storing the fruits in the plastic containers. In, in the, uh, this thing uh, uh, for storing, they are not putting in, in these, uh, that uh, uh, trays and all these, uh, uh, that, uh, cor uh, that boxes. Actually, so that, but with the farmers, main problem is that to, to what recommendation uh, uh, that university is giving that you should have a uh, 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 that two layer or four layers of fruits. But uh, the these uh, that marketing people, that private uh, in that Mandi people, they are using this uh, uh, telescopic type of boxes. The, 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 sometime they are having five layers, six layers, which is not advisable. So that despite of uh, government restrictions, na, farmers, so that way when the fruit will be transported in this five and six layer of uh, their boxes, so that quality will certainly be, uh, won't be better. Sir, another doubt, sir. Another doubt, sir. See, there is a general talk, uh, general talk. Our Honorable Prime Minister of India, <laughs> Prime Minister of India, Modi ji, Daily consuming a very rare mushroom, which is harvested, which are obtained from Himachal Pradesh. The cost of the mushroom may be roughly around one kg of mushroom, maybe 45,000. Is it true, sir? If it is true, what type of mushroom it is? Whether you have you tried with that one in your department? No, actually, uh, no. I, I have also, uh, I have not read which type of species it is, but. Cordyceps. Okay, okay. Medicinal mushroom cordyceps. 
एनर्जी बूस्टर uh and uh, uh, it is uh, uh, and technology for growing this is standardized by the uh, directorate of mushroom research icr and they are growing it and available anybody can do it uh and uh, in solar uh, some farmer they are also doing it yeah, and they are good. they are selling but it is not a, we cannot make a dish out of it uh, just like uh, there is another mushroom Uh, uh called shiitake shiitake so that is also a medicinal mushroom so, but that is also a very good uh, for cooking and uh, this thing uh, uh that uh, nutrient wise uh, i am not uh, sure that they match it, each other because the that body saps uh, uh, this naturally it, it is growing uh, above i think more than at uh, 10000 feet or so and uh, the i think uh, in uttarakhand that some people they make special drive to collect that because that is selling at a very, very high price but uh, medicinal med, medicinal point of view that shiitake and uh, some orocleria and some two three species more are there and uh, some of which are uh, grown in our department also and here i want to add that mushroom cultivation uh was started in our department in the 1963 4 and then they standardized the technology and still some work is done sir in, in some of the photographs we are seeing that farmers in himachal farmers they are cultivating either milky mushroom or water mushroom in the open field during winter yeah is it so sir whether it is whether they are growing cultivating the mushroom without any problem in the open field no and one of my the two of our colleagues in our department they are working on mushrooms actually uh, that uh, uh, mushrooms uh, in solan particularly and uh, they, they told me that uh, uh, some states like jharkhand and uh, uh, some places in haryana also particularly in those months uh where the uh, that outside temperature is congenial for the grow they grow uh, without that uh, in open means you can say a thatch house is there so sometime uh, that type of a technology is standardized for some mushroom cultivation <coughs> another question sir these are general uh, cricket white willow generally in tamil nadu in all south india the state governments are promoting or encouraging the farmers to cultivate teak as one of the most important forest tree teak uh, more or less just like a cash crop yeah yeah but we know that in most of the northern northern states kashmir and himachal pradesh cricket white willow which is used for making cricket bat whether they are promoted as a cash crop or government is supporting the farmers to cultivate the type of willow trees in our area Uh, no actually uh, uh, this is not a uh, native plant of himachal pradesh but it is a native plant of jammu and kashmir so they are uh, naturally uh, we are mostly are having uh, uh, main tree species citrus devdara that pines uh, and teak uh, and uh, the tree that willow na i think uh, uh, we don't have it. because uh, that that plant is not naturally growing in uh, himachal pradesh very few maybe uh, uh, scanty or uh, stray plantation somewhere uh, may, maybe single but no no but in kashmir we uh, here because most of these the cricket bats and this thing they are uh, 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 produced there so that willow is uh, mostly grown in kashmir not in himachal because actually that the 
the difference between two places is that in kashmir we are having mostly flat lands and irrigation uh, is in plenty there in himachal pradesh our irrigated area is uh, less uh, and uh, uh, that uh, uh, due to that uh, the uh, in apple also na the kashmir they have a more productivity and production also because they have more area than himachal himachal our productivity is lower because they are having uh, flat lands and we are having uh, topography is very steep and uh, they are now because in himachal pradesh and this thing we are going for high density plantation so high density plantation is picking up more fast in kashmir than in himachal pradesh yeah in almost all the universities even the state government as well as, as, well as the central government they are requesting the university make the student to become an entrepreneur that is the recent trend it is going on our prime minister as well as the chief minister of each state is also they are very concentrating concentrating on that they are allotting separate fund so my doubt is what type of technology you have selected to become as a i mean one of the most important tool to make the student to be an entrepreneur in that area either in your university or in your department for example in in department of plant biology normally we are encouraging students use the mushroom cultivation technology mm. or by by production of biogonal agents as a one of the important technology by following this technology you can become an entrepreneur like that we are motivating as well likewise there are some other techniques are also there likewise is there any technology you are using to uh, give or uh, i mean recommendation or uh, training to the students to become an entrepreneur uh, as far as himachal pradesh is concerned uh, i think uh, in the country uh, if we go by population wise and uh, government job ratio so that is i think highest in himachal pradesh uh that uh, we are, we are having uh, 68 lakh population and uh, we are having uh, approximately uh, uh, 3 lakh employees so that ratio uh, from every household or uh, two we will uh, having a one employee and there the uh, that uh, uh, risk for uh, taking up a job is a uh, uh, bit uh, people are hesitant but actually uh, the uh, but farming there farming there has a lot of potential uh, there if we are uh, because uh, uh, the, in the high density plantation the the orchard which we are having in our uh, university uh, 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 the Uh, where our university is situated that is not uh, ideally suited place for apple cultivation so because the chilling hours are uh, not met fully but we are having some low chilling variety then also we are getting uh, 35 to 40 tons per hectare but uh, the uh, average productivity of apple in himachal pradesh is around about 5 ton so then uh, so this is a giving a good thing but in himachal pradesh another problem is a land holding Uh, i am telling that if the farmer they adopt farming as a particularly apple cultivation as a profession they can certainly have a good uh, this uh, uh, if they are having one acre of a land they can have a good uh, entrepreneur for themselves and naturally then uh, we, because when high input agriculture production is there then they will create jobs uh, also uh so that kind of a, a thing is there and uh, as you rightly said that mushroom cultivation uh is uh, one entrepreneur which are taking but not on a large scale because uh, the mushroom cultivation uh that uh, in himachal pradesh is has not grown many fold uh being a fact that all the technologies were generated there So regarding the storage of apples, whether they are all stored in controlled condition or uh, the chill climate is itself is enough for storage? No, no. Uh, that uh, uh, cold storage is proper cold storage is. But they are all not transported in cold condition. 
where whole chain they are not maintaining from transporting the apples so just like that they are loading and they are sending to far away places even tamil nadu we are receiving apples without oh, any okay okay no transportation they are not doing okay so what what's the botanical use for impregnation of uh, trees uh, that was a mix of uh, this uh, uh, roelia uh, that uh, uh, milia jadarak and uh, 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 even uh, two, two, three plants more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That is actually a simple thing. Uh, that if some industry uh, person is no, no, no. If some industry person is doing, na, you are making a tray, make a deep, dry it. Okay. Simple. So then uh, we we try to uh, have with this NRDC. that if somebody can because if if the simple tray is uh, 10 rupees so this tray can be of 12 rupees 13 rupees okay sir the uh, cheaper than chemicals or no 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 it is certainly cheaper than this thing but 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 uh, there won't be any residue on the this thing yeah, na but it uh, ah. makes sense but uh, the farmers practicing that farmer. no farmer they are not okay. that is the problem so the other question is yeah. whether all the apples are waxed or not no actually The, we receive so many messages that uh, the apples, all the apples are waxed and we. No, no, no. Uh, they uh, when the farmers they uh, uh, pack it, na, so they just uh, brush it, j- just to bring some uh, shining. But waxing is done by the cold storage people only. Cold storage people. Uh, uh, plus, it's waxed and sent to the market. what finally huh. the product is All waxed and waxed. they are marketed or uh, they are not uh, the, uh, no the fruit that is coming through cold storage okay. because uh, adani is they are having uh, some cold storage is in himachal pradesh and some more group, one or two more groups are there so that but otherwise the the uh, fruit which is coming during the season right from uh, uh, these uh, 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 september onwards up to december so that is directly coming uh, packing without oh, vaccine okay. without vaccine yeah. okay thank you oh, yeah. but actually they are not uh, uh, transporting in those vehicles okay. yeah. that is coming in this thing and uh, open trucks are they sending yeah 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 actually uh, uh, you must have heard we get best apple uh, we have a uh, temperate zone called kinor kinor we have a district to we uh, guest get best apple there i think in uh, here also we may not be getting from even us also that that type of apple that is just like a, uh, uh, stone uh, if you hit somebody it can be damaged and uh, the best thing is that when we bite it so then the the juice will uh, just be so we also we in, in himachal also na in the season also we try to get one box of that apple <laughs> so that is harvested in uh, uh, october november that is because uh, the height is uh, approximately 8000 uh, that is harvested but here also may, we may be getting that apple and that is uh, but that apple is exported also that kinor apple na uh, academic question sir suppose if our tna student get admission in your university either by the pathology department or any other department university they are ready to provide a financial support as fellowship to do ms or phd program uh, no i i, I was uh, uh, rather interacting on this point with the students we provide uh, 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 2000 to every msc student who uh, yeah yeah every uh, month uh. and for phd i think uh, uh, 3000 Uh, to every student uh, uh, and uh, one student will get merit scholarship that is higher uh, that is i think 5000 for msc and uh, that but but one student per department will get uh, the rest of the students who are not getting any assistance for msc they will get 2000 every student and for phd higher is there every student uh, from the day one because here I, i was asking that but here good thing is there mm-hmm. that uh, no, yeah students are interested to do pg and phd program in 
in our university yeah. but at the same time they are expecting some financial support from your side that's why we are asking so if you provide some economic support uh, that will be that may be well and good for our student no that mm. no uh, I, i was telling uh, two mm. students who were with me uh, i had a student uh, uh, in in my guidance only uh, one uh, msc student was there uh, in uh, uh, msc from tamil nadu only so uh, that they will get that uh, of course he was from icr this thing he must be getting some assistance from there so now for phd he got in ira so that uh, uh, but uh, everybody will get uh, that much assistance if they are not getting anything thank you sir thank you <laughs> one more related question <laughs> what is the pg pg and phd strength in your department and uh, on which area the students are working the thesis uh, title actually <clears throat> uh in our uh, department usually uh, uh, we are having uh, four plus three seats in msc and uh, uh in phd uh, three plus three this is usual thing but uh, uh, the previous vice chancellor so uh, he had a because uh so i don't know that uh, how but uh, we had a higher number of this phd students ci but one thing i want to share that in iri for my 3 days i never saw that one seat is increased yes still uh, i i i remained there a member academic council also student member so then i saw that if 261 is there So it is not 262 because everybody is having fellowship and this thing and sometime in this thing we say that pressure is there that pressure is there but the Delhi that institute is there they are not buying to any pressure. So they started a huge program from this yes, year onwards. Yes, uh, I learnt from uh. this uh, this year, na? Uh, yes, uh, they have started. Uh, uh, at our time, sir, that. Uh, uh we got we uh, uh, succeeded that we got discontinued msc in eight disciplines in iri in uh, 1989 it got discontinued that we students uh, that uh, member we took a plea that iri is a actually iri there were two problems one that there uh, 50% of the students they were writing civil services that was very severely affecting uh, i joined in phd i with the most of the people who were doing a machine iri 50% of them and and one time uh, 10 to uh, 15 students they were getting in civil services in the final and many a times i think when uh, in indian forest services there were 150 seats so then uh, iri uh, uh, 8 to 10 students will get every time in indian forest services also so then we uh, requested the director that particular discontinue msc in eight discipline and uh, uh, add the seats of msc in phd that we did uh, we didn't reduce the seats that uh, in pathology we got it discontinued because in earlier uh, in uh, pathology there were eight seats in phd so then five msc gone so then those five seats were added in the phd so our plea was that uh, we should make it a institution of higher learning and let more people from the universities come for the higher studies here and uh, subjects like pathology entomology agronomy agriculture extension there is no need to then but uh, Yeah, after three years, that again got uh, uh, again MSc was started. Sir, well, you mentioning the PhD admission, you mentioned as a three plus three. Yeah. I don't understand what you meant by three plus three. Three, sir, three uh, seats. Uh, we uh, I don't know in TNU, but we are having paid seats also. Yeah. This revenue generation, na, so that is a problem. Uh, so we are having. Uh, in msc also we are having in ug also 
we are having paid seats in msc also we are having paid seats in phd also so that uh, uh, in that i think uh, the fee is uh, approximately 40 to 45000 and uh, the normal fee is uh, you can say approximately double sir uh, is, uh, even though it is a focused uh, alternative strategies to manage the plant diseases but um, we are seeing a least number of products uh, throughout the globe i mean botanical formulation formulated products very least numbers are available throughout the globe sir uh, that is scanning of research uh, literature sir, says uh, what is the constraint sir uh, i have the same question to the <laughs> student also in the morning actually despite of uh, but i think uh, if we see that uh, uh, the research efforts and the money which is put for development of chemical molecules i think in that comparison uh, uh, in botanicals may not be getting even point uh, one also not 1% but i think in points uh, that r and d money which we uh, require in that because still i think 2 3% uh, uh, the total consumption of uh, uh, pesticide and other uh, thing is uh, the uh, of course uh, uh, in the morning also uh, sir gave the example of sri lanka but uh, we sometime uh, uh, when we speak about this thing we give example of kenya because kenya also faced lot of problem Uh, due to that their political situation that uh, they were not getting fertilizer and this thing but uh, i have read that they converted even every park and every public place to for this production of uh, these vermi compost and that thing and the or organic farming they are doing uh, well sri lanka uh, they did uh, uh, drastically and then there was a drastic reduction Uh, in the yield and everything, but I think we need uh, more uh, this government support and this thing for research also and the popularization of. Uh, uh, many are reluctant to do the research on this, particularly this topic, sir, uh, for um, uh, botanicals and formulating the products because of these constraints. While patenting, knows a lot of questions are uh, they are asking. Yeah. Even you said you know, sir, a lot of. Uh, products may be mixed blended and make it a formulation but it's not so sir they are while going there they are restricting only one product uh, will be formulated as a product like uh, law imposing lot of uh, criteria uh, so i face lot of um, this thing sir recently but actually if, if uh, i uh, cited the example of that that uh, company is a coromandel group company peri industry na they are making excellent products because they have made a, a neem product uh, 2% as a directin 5% as a directin and e- even they have made granules also uh, granules concentrated as a directin concentrated very fine product and uh, they are having a Uh, 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 this uh, export of of neem products to a great extent if i think uh, uh, we need to make but madam actually that in the morning also we were discussing that uh, in himachal pradesh we had a uh, project for natural farming natural farming na? mm, natural farming yeah. they were uh, they were separating it with the organic farming but now as i told in the morning they have put uh, in the first year 25 crores on that project but if uh, the part of that funding is coming to research or popularization of uh, this thing but in that 24 uh, 5 crore that maximum is spent on training people and uh, uh, like training farmers that uh, how to make this bio formulation in the field itself no standardization nothing and uh, we had a problem that uh, in the university was also trusted upon that you give problem to uh, students based on this natural farming products so then one of our student uh, some advice uh, some external came from pantanagar university 
so that we also emphasize the student that actually what we are spraying as you are pointing out na uh, we should be able to know what is in it if some mm. bio formulation is there na what are the constituents of it uh, otherwise how uh, the students they will write research paper and this thing so that is a problem and uh, to have a good publication also to have good product publication also. it's okay sir but uh, for uh, uh, patenting yeah. and yeah. exploration yeah. it is very difficult yeah, yeah. not but, accepting but uh, i have read something that uh, 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 some laboratories in israel they are working that uh, isolating from trichoderma trying to have a product out oh, of that it. is there other so way. if uh, that kind of approach is needed but for that funding is needed so that uh, those products can be made because our students they are isolating the metabolites they are finding their efficacy that need to further popularize it and understand thank you sir thank you sir. as it is already 435 so if you have any further questions clarifications you need we personally discuss with our professor he will be here for another 10 to 15 minutes uh, finally my uh, pigeon in uh, so pigeon in online sir okay so may i make a request uh, dr kannan professor uh, to propose formal vote of thanks good evening to all first of all i thank our uh, chief guest uh, who has readily accepted our invitation and come over here to conduct to the vibe of my student and also readily accepted to give the guest lecture on the topic that is very much needed now and also i have to thank our professor and guide who has provided all the facilities to conduct the guest lecture in a fitting manner and also our pg coordinator Uh, also for arranging this uh, guest lecture in a very good manner and also finally not uh, least our uh, staff members who has put uh, many questions uh, with the uh, and interacted uh, very well uh, and also finally the students so they are in a very good number uh, they can ask the questions uh, after the session is over uh, finally Uh, i thank you onanda for this